everybody, it's Netta. I finally finished my dinosaur journal. She is six by nine inches with a one and a half inch spine and five signatures. There are a total of 160 pages front and back. So let's get into it. There's a hidden pocket in the front here with a small journal card. This is faux leather and cotton, and then we have metal book corners. And here we have Jibid Neary's letter from the bookmaker. Thank you, Jibid. And then there is a journal card in this front pocket. And this flips out, and we have another pocket with a dinosaur flashcard. Then we have a, another journal card, and this flips up for a hidden writing space. We have some lovely mulberry paper and some collaging, some dictionary page, stenciling on graph paper. Then we have a bag with a journal card in it. And a dimensional sticker up in the corner. Then we have a large book page journaling card. And then we have a journal charm and a journal card in this side tuck here. We have some textile collage up in the corner with some stenciling. Another collage in the bottom corner small book page. I really love this wrap around collaging I've done on some of the pages. There's some napkin and a bag with a journal card in it. And then stenciling on graph paper and the rest of that dictionary page. We have a dimensional sticker and some lovely stenciling on this page. We have another dinosaur flash core card in this upper corner pocket. And some more of that mulberry paper. And this is a large vintage journal card with a dimensional sticker on it. And a small book page journal card. And a collage tag. And I'm pretty sure this is a Patty Pocket from Patricia Viramontes, but don't quote me on that. So that's the end of the first signature and the start of the second. So I got this paper in a scrap pack and it is super textural, really cool. You can pretend, pretend that it's a fossil of dinosaur skin. So there's a journal card in this pocket. And then some mulberry paper, some collaging across the top. Some ledger paper. Some more book page. Some more collaging in the upper corner and I really love this cork ribbon. Some more collaging in the bottom corner and a section of book page from a children's book. Another one of those wraparounds. And then some more book page, ledger paper, and we have our second journal charm on a paper clip. And we have a fabric flip for some hidden writing space. And then we have a collaged window envelope pocket with a journal card. And some more mulberry paper and another dinosaur flashcard. And that is the end of the second signature, the beginning of the third. We have a journal card in this upper corner park pocket. And 
this flips open. Some more of that cork ribbon that I really love, and then another journal card in the pocket. Some more mulberry paper, and collaging across the top of the page with some stenciling. And then dinosaur coloring page, stenciling on graph paper. And we have a journal card in a glassine bag. And another journal card in this pocket. And then a dimensional sticker. I got some great texture on this uh, coffee dyed paper. And there's a little scrap of napkin up there and some more book page. And another flashcard. There's some dimensional stickers and some great stenciling on this page. And then there's another flashcard in this pocket. And there's another journal card in the other half of that glassine bag. Stenciling on graph paper. And the other half of that coloring page. And then there's some napkin on the bottom of this one and a dimensional sticker at the top. And one more charm on a paper clip. Mulberry paper. And then another large book page journal card. In an upper corner pocket. That's the end of the third signature and the start of the fourth. And then we have another piece of that really cool paper and a journal card in the pocket. Mulberry paper, some collaging across the top, ledger paper, children's book page, some more textile collage up in the corner, some collaging in the bottom corner, and more children's book page, and another wraparound book page and ledger page and we have our fourth paper clip charm and another fabric flip for some hidden writing space and one more envelope window that's been collaged and has a journal card hiding inside mulberry paper and a journal card in the pocket the end of the fourth signature and we're on to the final one. So we have a journal card in this pocket. And this flips open and there's another journal card in the back pocket. There's a journal card in this side tuck here and this flips open for some hidden writing space. And we have some mulberry paper, some more collaging across the top, dinosaur book page, stenciling on graph paper. We have a collaged envelope. It just has some writing paper with a dinosaur sticker on it. And then a large book page journal card under a collaged belly band. And our final journal charm. There's a journal card in this side pocket. And then a stained glass coloring page. Some more textile collage in the upper corner. Collaging in the bottom corner. Some more book page. Another wrap around. The other half of that stained glass coloring page. Tiny little napkin scrap that I had. Some stenciling. 
and the other half of that envelope with another piece of writing paper and a dinosaur sticker on it. And then stenciling on the graph paper and book page. And then this one has a really cool dimensional sticker on it with some stenciling. And then some mulberry paper and another book page journaling card in a upper corner pocket. And that is the final signature. And there is a pocket here in the back with a journaling card in it. Now I have tried to keep this book as unisex as possible. Um, the charms could be considered a little girly, but they can easily be removed if you are gifting this to somebody of the male persuasion, or they can be, sh be shifted somewhere else into the book. Um, and that is pretty much it. So, here's the back. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Bye.